The pandemic is causing grief and anxiety for many of us at the moment, and normal ways to relax might be off limits. In these unprecedented times, many people are turning to nature for a COVID-safe adventure. We followed ecologist and photographer Su Jia Hong on his trip up Ali Shan, where he ran into Taiwan's most beloved wild animals. He even gave us some tips on how to enjoy a forest safari yourself. A Reeves mud jack nibbles away happily. This entire stretch of grass is its dining hall. As soon as it hears a rustle, though, its ears prick up. It's on the alert until it feels there's no threat when it gets back to business. It's rare to spot a mud jack up close. Ecological observer Su Jia Hong was delighted to meet this individual on Mount Xiaoyuan Trail on Alishan. And on this occasion, Su was lucky enough to see a host of mud jack all together. When we photograph them, we have to be careful because they're extremely vigilant. We saw at least three mud jack in the east and at least five in the west. On the same stroll, you can spot other indigenous Taiwanese species, like the magnificent Mikado pheasant with its ostentatious tail. In this period, while the pandemic is more intense, we hope that visitors can come up into the mountains for walks to see the beautiful views and ecology. We must absolutely not feed these animals, because this place provides enough for them to forage already. The Mikado pheasant's breeding season lasts from March until July, but they're quiet, solitary, and rarely spotted. On this occasion, the photographer spied several foraging at the same time. You might also catch glimpses of the Formosan rock macaque in the quiet mountain forests. Ecologists say the pandemic is a good moment to turn to nature, but respect the creature's wild ways, don't get too close, and don't feed them.